Raccoon firing, right? Yeah, raccoon firing. I, I, well, if, I mean, in like about five minutes, if, you video, if you're here with the video, it's going to be really cool. Like, what we're doing is we're taking these, firing these pots at about 2,000 degrees. Okay. And once they get, they get that hot, the glaze is molten. All right. Then I'm pulling them out of the kiln. I'm throwing them into garbage cans full of, like, shredded newspaper and sawdust. Right. Uh, everything flames up. I cover them up with a, a metal, you know, like a metal lid. And what that does is it forces carbon into the clay and the glaze, and you get what they call post-firing reduction. Mm -hmm. And it'll the carbon will combine with the, the metals and the glazes and give you like iridescent, like kind of traps the flame almost. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna try like to get hot, but like in a couple of minutes they'll be like they'll be full on like molten. Wow. That is. There's some amazing heat coming off that thing. Wait, wait. Give it a couple more minutes. It's gonna be insane. Okay. Well, this is the raccoon firing pottery. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, now look at the, the sparkles and everything, the different colors. And, oh my God, that's really good. Yeah, that's cool. Can you flip that over so I can see the inside? Oh, look at that. That's great. And they're on the boardwalk in Azurite Park, right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. 1,200. Yeah. And this will come up once it gets cleaned up because it has right, still a lot right of the here. suit and stuff like that on it. Mm -hmm. And when it cleans up, it'll get a little shinier oh, even nice. on the top. All right, we're back live again and we are about to see some. Oh my goodness, look at that, brother. Woo. That is very toasty hot, you people. Okay, thank you. Oh, let that, let that burn uncovered for a minute. That's why crack it. Just want to let it up. Now, after you put them in there, that uh, that's going to give us the. Uh, That'll give me the, the like the copper and metallic effects. Awesome. And then, and this is like the finished product over here, which we already filmed before. But anyway, we'll be right. Chemtrail. <laughs> before it's produced. We had produced Scrooge and Rouge, Hair, Hello Dolly, um, Kingdom, really amazing shows. We have Funny Girl coming up. We have Full Monty coming up at the Carousel. Nudity! Uh, inside, inside nudity. we have there a place nudity. where you can buy tickets if you're interested or just donate. But come in and see the work. Come and see our work, okay? We love you. Revisiontheater.org. Give it up for revisiontheater.org. I'm Dave Pittenger, I'm playing at. The fourth year this is happening. The biggest year, if you're not here, you're missing something. You gotta get here tomorrow. We are at Madison Park. And uh, let me just show you the little band. You see that? It's kind of dark, but you can see it. And uh, emerging artists, who's going to be here? Underground Logic, Midnight, and we're going to be back for that. hot dog stand now he's at the saint at every show so you if you want a hot dog look this is what you get this is what you get when you get a hot dog no it's not oh 
That's right. He's always at the same. Look at that. Now, everybody wants to buy it into a hot dog. Back at the bottom of this show at the Wave Gathering Music Festival, we're going to say. So, what do, you, what do you think about this band that's on right now? It's a cool band, it's like a youth voice. All right, you know they're going to be on the side there. songwriters panel and uh, I'd like to introduce everybody and then we have our trusty moderator who has been great through the weekend from left to right we have Alice Leon right not Leon Leon Alice Leon from the Alice project former Sony artist with song placements on one life to live CBS's who wants to marry my dad Disney's not first and many others and then, of course, Arlen Phyllis, who we just saw and spoke to. Solo artist, making some great records. And right next to him, we have Mr. Ron Haney from Near Records, who has worked with Alicia Keys, Kana, Jillian Reese, Rick Barry, Jersey Jones, Status Green, and many others. Has songs licensed for film and TV, including Scrubs, ER, and MTV's Juvies, just to mention a few. And one of my favorite people, in the area, as I'm sure many of us know. And right next to him, we have uh, Sean, correct me if I'm wrong, is that Glonek? Glonek. Glonek, okay. And you are from SRG Studios. Correct. Which is in Hamilton, yes. the Hamilton area? Correct. And of course, right next to him, Mr. Tony Black, part of the Melody Club, who's also worked with Alicia Keys, Jay-Z, and Emma Sofina. And, uh, some tremendous talent sitting here in front of us, as well as the moderator for this panel. From the Aquarium. And the same presents, Mr. John Pfeiffer. So I'm gonna hand it over to him. Thank you. This panel is basically, it's, it's for all you guys, as far as this business, uh, having to do with songwriting, production, picking studios, getting advice, and getting your songs critiqued by the professionals. So if you have any questions, you know, just shoot them out here. <laughs> 